Hello friends and welcome into NFL Daily. Tom Downey back again with some playoff picture overview for both the AFC and the NFC. We'll begin with the latter there as there's been some changes in a what could be wild wild card race this year. At the top, pretty much chalk here. Arizona, they lead the way as the current number one seed, 9-2. and two. Packers, Bucks, Cowboys. We'll do the overview here, then go more in depth on all of these teams, of course. The Rams, Niners, and then, oh look, the Washington football team. All of a sudden, 5-6 and six and in that number seven seed. We'll come back to the wild card, but let's focus in right now on the current number one seed, fresh off their bye, the Arizona Cardinals. Now they go on the road this week against a not good Chicago Bears team. The Cardinals found ways to win football games without quarterback Kyler Murray. That's a pretty darn big deal for Arizona. The schedule will get a little bit tighter as they face off against some very solid, outside of Seattle, NFC West teams this year. But Arizona has the advantage right now for that oh-so-coveted bye. The Packers, meanwhile, are set to have their bye this week in Week 13. Aaron Rodgers, maybe the toe gets a little bit healthier this week. The Packers-Cardinals head-to-head matchup could have some fairly massive implications for that number one seed. But for the time being, it is the Packers in the number two seed, fresh off a very large win, by the way, against the L.A. Rams. Let's go to the number three seed then, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, still focused on the NFC right now. Fresh off a oof, pretty dicey, I'll call it there, win over the Indianapolis Colts. Now they get the Falcons. Should be another win for Tampa. And I'll make note, I think all the teams this year, they've had their bad moments, at least one if not multiple. But make note that this time last year-ish, the Buccaneers ended up getting hot. Maybe they did it again this season. To the Dallas Cowboys, still the number four seed in the lowly NFC East. They lost in overtime against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now they take on the New Orleans Saints in week 13 on Thursday night football. The Cowboys have lost, by the way, three of their last four games. Dallas is simply struggling right now. They have to find a way to get back on track, maybe against the Saints, and then a run of NFC East matchups after that. They can find a way to pull that off. So who gets the number one seed in the NFC? We'll focus in on the Top four seeds right now. Apologies to the Rams and you know, maybe the 49ers as well. Make your predictions for me. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. While the ad plays, head down to the pinned comment. Type in ARI for Arizona, GB for the Packers, TB for the Bucks, and DAL for the Cowboys. Let's head now to the three teams currently in, I guess I'll call the polls poll positions. That's not really how it works, but whatever. Uh, for the wild card race, the Rams, Niners, and yes, Washington. The Rams are in fantastic shape to make the playoffs, even with three straight losses. Yikes, by the way. They're doing much better. I would not panic at the current moment as it relates to the Rams. I do think they'll find a way to... Get settled, get situated. Games against the the Jags, a, a game against the Jags this week could be pretty nice for LA to figure out what's going wrong with Matthew Stafford and the offense and look a little bit more like the legit playoff and beyond contender we thought they could be. But with three straight losses, I got to ask the question, guys. Are the Rams frauds? They have not won a game since they posted the wrong gif of going all in because in that gift the guy who went all in lost and oh now the Rams have lost three straight games are they frauds why for yes and for no how about San Francisco part of a very strong NFC West the Niners have been one of the best teams in the NFL as of late they have won three straight games the Vikings their most recent one 34-26 now they've got other games coming up in the near future that I think are going to be very winnable matchups. The Niners getting hot at around the right time. If they can keep that going, maybe they can sneak into the postseason with the way that ground game has been operating. 
Oof, makes him tough to beat. You guys can get 50% off NFL hoodies for a limited time only. The stock is going quickly, so don't delay. Head over to chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. That link will be in both the comment section and it'll be in the description as well. 50% off for whatever team you're a fan of, whether it is a playoff contender like the Niners or a not-so-playoff contender like the Dolphins. They're still alive, I guess, or a team caught in the middle like Philadelphia. It's a perfect holiday gift for yourself, for a loved one, or just to add to your Christmas wish list. Chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. Again, that link will be in both the comment section and in the description. To the Washington football team, after a, I'll call it, weird and ugly Monday night football win over the Seattle Seahawks, the football team jumped from the number 11 spot in the NFL NFC playoff picture all the way up to number 7. Three straight wins, and suddenly the football team, well, maybe they could be a wild card team in the NFC. After all, they have a, after the Raiders game, nothing but NFC East opponents left. So the football team does, to an extent, control their own destiny. Will they win the NFC East? Probably not. But if they can get to nine wins, which is very doable, hey, they might get a wild card spot. Because the NFC wild card race for that number seven seed is kind of a cluster. Do we really think Washington, Minnesota, Atlanta, New Orleans, Philly, Carolina, hell, even the Giants and Bears are good football teams? I, I certainly don't think so. Yet they are all within a game of the wild card spot. Now, there are a bunch of convoluted tiebreakers involved there, which we're not paying too much attention to because it's, it's just an absolute cluster in the end. But Washington's football team's conference record for now puts them in the seventh seed, and their schedule is not that tough. I thought Philly could be that number seven seed. They still could be, but maybe Washington will end up being that spot. So what do you think? Of all those clustered of around sub-500 teams, who gets the number seven seed in the NFC? Make your predictions for me right now in the comments section. To the AFC playoff picture now we go, as this had some change at the top. Baltimore is the new number one seed. The Patriots, Titans are two and three. Chiefs, number four. Bengals, Bills, also 7-4. and four. A cluster of 500 teams or better, by the way, with the Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, Colts, Browns, and the 5-5-1 five, five Steelers. Let's go to the 8-3 and three Ravens, who despite all of their injuries, are still firmly the number one seed in the AFC. Now, they got to keep winning games against their division rivals like, you know, every team has to do down the stretch this year. But despite all of the, the rash of injuries on the offensive line and on the defensive side across the board, the Ravens are still 8-3. and three. Now, that lead over the Bengals is thin right now in the AFC North. After all, every AFC North team is at least above 500. Won't be easy for Baltimore down the stretch, but they've taken care of business so far. All right, the Patriots. How about the Patriots, by the way? Six straight wins the most in the NFL currently as they have gone from eh you know they're two and four maybe they'll be a 500 team to hey they might get the number one seed a massive game coming up this week against the Buffalo Bills we'll spend some more time on it uh, later on in today's video in prime time a win for the Patriots would announce them as true legit Super Bowl contenders we will do the NFL playoff picture each and every week. And as things move forward, we might break it up by NFC and AFC for you guys. Because, you know what? You guys care about it. So help us get to 269,000 subscribers. Don't let our memes just be dreams here at Chat Sports. Hit that big red button and subscribe today. The Tennessee Titans are next up here as... Things have been interesting for them at the current moment. The Titans actually go on bye this week in week 13. Injuries have been a fairly major issue at the current moment for Tennessee. They got blown out by the pitch. They hung around for a little bit, but it simply was not enough for them to 
find a way to get that win. A, a final score, by the way, of 36-13 to 13 for Tennessee. If they can get healthy, I still think they can be a real threat. The Chiefs, coming off thereby, are, I think, starting to get a little bit right at the current moment. Now, the offense is by no means, but the defense has played a whole lot better. And does anyone really want to play the Chiefs in the playoffs? I don't think so. And they can extend their lead in the AFC West with their matchup this week against the Denver Broncos. KC at home on Sunday night football. This game, by the way, was flexed in to Sunday night football because I believe the previous game was the Seahawks one, and nobody wants to watch that. So, KC Denver now playing on Sunday Night Chiefs by a 10-point uh, favorite, which feels about right. So, who you got in this one? Type D-E-N for the Denver Broncos, or type in K-C for the Kansas City Chiefs. Let me know who you think wins that pivotal AFC West matchup in the comment section. To the wild card now. I don't know if there's one elite contender in the AFC. Like there's no obvious favorite. But damn if there isn't some incredible depth. Let's begin with the three teams in the wild card seeds for now. The Bengals, Bills, and the Chargers. Cincinnati, they look like an actual contender. I mean they, they laid an egg a couple weeks ago against the Cleveland Browns. But I mean they boat raced. The Pittsburgh Steelers, that game wasn't even close. And fun fact, the Bengals actually have a better point differential than every AFC team except the Patriots and the Bills. That's a pretty good sign for them in terms of their success moving forward. A key game with massive wild card implications this week against the LA Chargers. But Cincinnati, they might be for real. The Bills, meanwhile, have been a very inconsistent football team as they've had some great games and they also have lost to the Jacksonville Jags when the offense scored looks at notes six points uh doesn't really make a whole lot of sense the Bills have a massive game against the New England Patriots this week they play two more times December 6th and December 26th as well. This one is in Monday or on Monday night football in prime time. The Bills, just a three point favorite at home. If the Bills win this game, they will kind of jump themselves back into hey, we are legit AFC East favorites. We are the team to beat. If they lose, the Patriots take as commanding a leave that it could be at this point in early December, by the time that game gets played. So who you got? N-E for the Patriots, B-U-F for the Buffalo Bills. I mentioned the Bills were inconsistent. I don't think any team is more inconsistent this year than the Los Angeles Chargers. They actually had a bit of a rough patch. Losses against the Ravens, Patriots, Vikings, and Broncos with some wins against the Eagles and Steelers sandwich in there. I like Justin Herbert, but he has not been a steady quarterback this year. And now the Chargers go on the road to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. I mentioned the playoff implications. There's some seeding at minimum impact here. Both these teams are very real wild card threats, if not division threats. But if the Chargers lose that game, that would cost them in the tiebreaker battle that could decide who gets a six seed, a seven seed, or even gets left out of the playoffs this year. So who you got in this one? LAC for the Chargers, C-I-N for the Bengals. This game almost got flexed in a Sunday Night Football, which is crazy because it might be a better game than Broncos Chiefs. So who you got? Get those votes in for me in the comments. I did want to at least briefly here mention the rest of the AFC wildcard race teams. Look, the Jets and Jags and Texans are out of it. The Dolphins have to win out, and even then, I think that's asking a little bit too much. The Steelers, by the way, are actually ahead of the Browns in the 500-team race due to the uh, tiebreaker they have head-to-head. -head. We can't quite reflect that the way we would like to, uh, but it is Colts, Steelers, then the Browns. Six and five teams in the Chargers and Broncos. The AFC West, all right there, at least six and five. The Chargers are ahead due to division Record 2-1 and one against 1-1 one and one for Denver, 1-2 and two for the Raiders. Then the Raiders are ahead of Denver due to head-to-head matchups. So that's your kind of AFC wildcard race. That race 
I think, without a doubt, is going to go down to the final week, if not the final minute, of the NFL season. 